once I got to the hotel, Steve's like waved me off. He said, order whatever you like, you know, the shake is going to pay for everything for you. No request is too big. Got to the hotel and I rang Maz and said, she's here. It's time for the sting. We needed sound and we needed shot. We needed the film. If we didn't have that, we didn't have the story. Then Mazza came into the hotel room where I was working out where to put the cameras. There was a, a radiator with a crisscross wood lattice. So I put the camera in that. Maz pretended to put the cocaine down and he did that perfect, absolutely perfect. So the room was set. The camera was ready, the sound was ready, everything was ready. All we needed is for Emma to come in. I remember walking up the corridor and I'm sort of like going to knock and then thinking, oh, and I was all nervous, knocked on the door. When Emma walked in, Maz greets her. He wasn't in his robes, he was just in a, a suit. And he greets her with two hands, like he's an Arab prince. And he's always over the top. I think you're beautiful. I think you'll be wonderful, absolutely wonderful in a calendar. He was dressed very, very smart. I noticed his, his skin was lovely. His nails were perfectly manicured. He had a big sort of gold watch on his wrist. I just remember thinking he exuded class and charisma. And there was champagne there. And Billy was also in the room. The atmosphere in the hotel room was wonderful, but I was nervous because it was always worrying putting these cameras in. Because they could bloody drop on the floor. The battery could go down just when she's about to snort the cocaine. So, you know, I was worried all the time because it had to work. Billy said, all of a sudden, he said, do you want some coke? And she was quite, not shocked, but she looked enough so, bloody hell, you know. I think she was a bit flustered. Maz said, oh, go on, we don't care, we don't care, we no problem. And, he, you know, he was giving it all the Arab act. He saw me refuse and he said, no, 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 come on, you know. I can't remember the exact words, but I was encouraged so much to do some cocaine. I'd probably tried cocaine less than a handful of times before this and I never particularly enjoyed it. But I honestly thought, if I'd have said no, it could have cost me the job. I then went on to have some cocaine, thinking I'm going to be in his good books now. Maz was over the moon. He said, we've got her. The fake shake was working. But Maz wanted more. The next thing, the sheikh stood up and he went onto a little balcony and he beckoned me. He asked me if I could get him some cocaine. Um, I was a bit surprised I, and I said to him, well, Billy, the, you know, you've, you've employed him, he sells cocaine. Get it off Billy, I don't have cocaine. And he looked me in the eyes and said, I don't trust him, he said, I trust you. We said, I'd really rather if you could get it from Billy and then maybe if you could drop it to my suite after we come back from dinner. I was at that point worried that if I went to his suite, he was going to proposition me, I was going to refuse and that would be the end of the job. Billy came up with a plan to safeguard me and that plan was to um, put the cocaine under a small gap in, in his hotel room door push it through quietly, 
tiptoe away and then send him a message to say, I've put it under your door.